Ji Yak has cleared up the misunderstanding that Ji Won had towards him and He Yun. However, Ji Yak suddenly fell onto Ji Won's shoulders. It looks like this time it is Ji Won's turn to wait for Ji Yak until he wakes up. Meanwhile, after being beaten up by Ji Yak, Min Won decided to meet Su Min. They gradually fell in love with each other and will officially start dating behind Ji Won's back. Eun Ho, who can't give up on Ji Won, comes to give Ji Won coffee in the morning. Without them realizing it, Ji Yak looks at Ji Won smiling at Eun Ho, making him jealous. To make up for their misunderstanding from the night before, she decides to treat Min Won with her card and intentionally asks Zhu Min to accompany him. Ji Won wants them to be together as soon as possible. Before he spends Ji Won's card to eat with Zhu Min, Ji Yak talks to Min Won. Now, Ji Yak won't sit still and decides to go straight against Min Won. That's why he suggests that Min Won break up with Ji Won. Even though Ji Yak is the general manager, Min Won tells him that he is crossing the line as it is their personal matter and not work related. So Ji Yak gives him an excuse, saying, Then you can say it's because I like Kong Ji Won. As Min Won tries to get revenge for the previous night, Ji Yak easily warns him. While Min Won and Su Min enjoy their date, Ji Yak brings Ji Won somewhere to teach her self defense. There, they are greeted by Ji Yak's friends. Dong Sok tells her, You're still pretty. Confused, Ji Won asks him, Have we met before? Flustered, Dong Sok looks at Ji Yak, who signals him not to tell Ji Won. Coming to the rescue, Shin Bu tells Ji Won that Dong Sok tends to act like he knows someone when he sees someone pretty. After introducing themselves, Ji Yak informs Ji Won that they are his club juniors. Still trying to grasp the situation, Ji Won secretly asks Ji Yak what happened. Ji Yak then brings Ji Won the judo uniform he has prepared for her and tells her to change. So, Ji Won will officially learn self defense from Ji Yak and it seems he will be a strict teacher until Ji Won is able to throw Dong Sok. After learning from Ji Yak, Ji Yak brings Ji Won home and tells her, you're capable of fighting well. Now they become closer as there is no misunderstanding between them. However, even though Ji Yak confesses to her, Ji Won doesn't have time to think about it yet, as Kim Kyung Wook keeps wanting Ji Won to be out of her own proposal. So Ji Won needs to overcome her fate that leads her to follow her original destiny. From the concept of self-defense, Ji Won plans to get back at Kim Kyung Wook. Since she already knows about the future, and one aspect of it is the scandal that will happen to director Wang, she needs to find a way to use this information. Ji Won has to stop letting shameless people take things from her. Therefore, she decides to help the team, even though her name is removed from the proposal. She suggests to Kim Kyung Wook to use director Wang to promote the project. This way, she can involve Kim Kyung Wook in director Wang's scandal, making him responsible for the project's failure and ensuring he will be dismissed from the project in the end. When Ji Won suggests this plan to Kim Kyung Wook, Ji Yuk gets confused, but he supports Ji Won as he also knows what will happen to director Wang in the future. With this plan, Ji Won will later be able to regain control of her project, leading to Kim Kyung Wook being demoted from his position. This will free Ji Won and the others from him, but it will be challenging for Su Min, as she will have no one to seek help from. Stay tuned for an exhilarating story that shows Ji Won will be able to change her fate, with Ji Yuk supporting her from behind. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.